That's what body stock pizza is. Boom, boom, baby! Perfection pizza! Perfection, perfection! Guys, perfect! Hot! Hot! Crunchy only, no soft here, because today, woo, I'm going to show you how to Body make style. A, yes, we decided to make a pizza course, everything about body style pizza. I mean, take a look at this pizza, it's crunchy only. Exactly. For the lover of the thin crust, a little bit burnt, Watch this video until the end and smash the like for my father in this video. Yo, let's start with the dog. <laughs> let's go. Aspa. So, Aspa, wait, 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 what? Already you start. <laughs> you start right away of uh, making the dough. You need to teach. We dobbiamo insegnare okay, le okay. persone how to make a body style pizza dough. So guys, Aspa, let me tell them what they need. We need 670 grams of water, cold, no, no. one kilogram of flour, 15 grams of extra virgin olive oil, 35 grams of salt, 4 grams of sugar. Do so. You needed to color the pizza. Eh. 8 grams of fresh yeast. If you're using dry yeast, you can go with 4 grams. So let's go ahead and let's start the dough. Enjoy okay. your ride. Thank He's you. gonna make it, I'm gonna explain. Here we go, let's put... Uh, Prima un po' di acqua. Half a month of the water. Now we put the fresh yeast, the sugar, Sale. Salt together. Tutto. Tutto insieme. Sì. Salt. Oil. Oil. Non è meglio metterlo dopo l'olio. Extra virgin olive oil. It puts all the liquid together and the salt and the sugar and the yeast. But Adesso. this is to test this dough machine. Too fast. You can speed. Slow speed. You know, this machine has 10 speed. Ah, ok. Allora, allora tell me in Italian this one, one second. Quando è finito di fare l'impasto, mi devi dare un voto da 1 a 10 okay. come lavora la mia macchina. Va bene, ok. A vote 1 eh. to 10 at the end of this uh, dough making. Ok, now... Un po' di farina. Now we add the, the flour. Half amount of the flour. So complicated. Anche you tutta, anche oh, tutta. everything. Okay. Now we're attacking. Ok. The channel is to make it easy. Easy, no secret. The whole Adesso flour. piano piano. Slowly, speed number 3. Va bene così, puoi andare più lento. No, no, va bene. We still have a farm under the water here. Un momento. Ok. And now we start to add the water. All together? Tutta? No. No, ok. Save a little bit. Is this no machine like the, the one at Bellissimo the pizza place? Bellissimo come, come lavora. La pizzeria? Works sì, good? Sì, sì. Very good. Now we're just waiting that all the dough ingredients get absorbed. Guys, this was easy, you know? Let's Perfetto. See, let's see the final result with the sugar. The sugar. Adesso l'altra acqua. There. More water. Voilà. Okay. Everything together. That's it, tutto insieme. Sì. Okay. How long are they going to mix it for? Non c'è un tempo. Quando è pronto, è pronto. Okay. When the dough is ready, it's ready. I think it's gonna take about five minutes or so. Okay, so guys, uh, I noticed a little bit of uh, thing here. Uh, my father says it's a little bit sticky. You know why? Because this is, uh, uh, this is happening because the flour is weak. I wanted to do this, I say stop, don't add more flour because we need to explain. That's a general recipe for a strong flour. If you're using bread flour, that amount is fine. But if you're using zero zero flour, it's weak and you need more. So here we are adding another 80 grams of uh, flour, yeah. 80 grams of farina. Still is the weak flour. So by adding more flour, because it's so sticky, the dough doesn't catch, slow speed, we're gonna go ahead and integrate this flour and the dough will be ready. So we have to wait five minutes, make sure. If the dough is super sticky, it doesn't catch, you guys need to add more flour. That means that the flour that you use is too weak and it's not strong enough. Wow, the 80 grams really saved the, uh, the dough. 
Yeah, perfetto. All over your hands, all over your there. And now we just go ahead and take off the dough from the inside the mixer. It's really strong and really hard. I call this dough cement. My dough is super, well, this one is probably, it's, a, it's about 60% of hydration. So we put uh, 1,080 grams of flour. And the dough machine is really clean. Definitely not sticky at all. Okay, so, Father, we need to make a ball? Yeah, okay. Five, five, five. So now we go ahead and we make the, a ball, a big one. Andiamo? Yeah, super strong, the dough. Perfect. Perfect. Put this touch, you have to. Okay. So what we do now? A little bit of olive oil. Non fa niente, non ti metti, non ti metti. Sì. Okay. Okay, copri. Now we let it rest for, quanto tempo? Perfetto, uh, 20 minuti. 20 minutes, and then we are ready to make the boss. Okay. Okay, guys, 20 minutes passed by, and now it's time to make uh, the balls. Okay, perfect. Like you can see, guys, it's nice and smooth now. What's the weight of the balls? They must fit. Let's see. We make the balls first, and we need to make the ball 185. 100, 185. That's a good amount of dough, 185. And of course, this is how you make the balls. So this is the dough, always keep this part on top, put a little bit under, and then you open, open, and put the dough inside, put the dough inside, put the dough inside, and then you go ahead and start to form a ball by putting the dough inside, and then when you have a ball that you think that is, that's the weight, and then you go ahead and chop it, pum, voila, correcto? Adesso è corretto. Così, you need to eh? close. Okay, now close we go it. ahead and we put the dough balls inside a container. Boom, 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 baby. voila. Here we go. So now let's go ahead, let's close it. And we let it rest at room temperature for about six hours. Anche meno. Maybe a little bit less. Cinque, Depends on the, sì, the sì. room temperature. Right now it's about 60, 65, 70, so it's a little cold. And the dough, it's ready to go ahead and rest. So I'll see you in about six hours. Okay, okay so. We have to boil the potatoes for just a few seconds in the really hot water. Okay. And we need a pinch of salt in the water. And then, uh, of course, my father likes to put some uh, for original body style pizza, which is the riso patate cozze. It's one of the most typical food in Bari. I made it also with my grandmother, so you can check out the video how to make it. We need uh, some uh, mussels. This one already, we cook it. We just salt it in the pan for just a few seconds. So let's go ahead and let's open up and then let's take out the fruit from uh, the inside of the shell and we put it there. So we have to just check out one of these. We don't want to cook it all the way, so we have to check it out. Yeah, they break, so they are ready. You can also test it with, uh, with just a fork. So we want to have a nice and crunchy potatoes on the pizza. Here we go. Uh, Father, can you approve this? Puoi approvare? Okay. Okay. Good. Good. We want to check this out. When the, the potato breaks, that's are ready to make. So we need, uh, for this pizza, we're going to need uh, some uh, potato, nice thin slice, mussels, fresh mozzarella, fresh tomatoes, pinch of salt, pecorino cheese, breadcrumbs, parsley, and extra virgin olive oil. This is the dough after six hours at room temperature. Like you can see, it's lovely, perfect, double up the side, it's full of air. Like you can see, it's amazing. Here we go, my father wants to make a pizza right away. Okay. In the flour. For a body style pizza, guys, believe it or not, you need a roller pin. This is how you stretch. So what you do here, you press, you press everything, all pizza. Okay. All the air così. out of the crust. Prima così. And then così. you use the, the roller pin, like you can see, uh, just on the center part. Keep uh, flipping the dough all the time. Like you can see, the dough is a little bit very hard because the hydration is super low. So now we want to press all the air. Mas Almost così. done. Look, guys, look how strong Perfetto. is the dough. Can I touch it a little bit? Look how strong is this, the, this dough. Basta. Sorry, <laughs> now the pizza is ready. Bye. 
Okay, so for this pizza, we're gonna use uh, a nice fresh tomato sauce. To we say two of a spoon of tomatoes. Then we go all the way to the crust. Fresh mozzarella on top. Mussels. Okay. Well, we, we don't want to put too much of mussels. Cover all the spots there is empty. Un pochettino di formaggio. Little bit of uh, pecorino cheese. Okay. Patate. On top of the mussels. And then we cover the pizza with uh, <coughs> potato. Can I do this? Ha, ah, they're hot. Hot. Aye, aye, aye. They're super hot. Guys, I recommend you to let the potato cool down a little bit because they are really hot. Stop. A little bit more. I like potato on my pizza. Father. Pinch of uh, sea salt. Pinch. It's like a good amount. Pecorino cheese extra on top of the potato. This is going to make a nice crust. Posso? It doesn't Whoa. want me to do anything. <laughs> Bread rolls. A piece of art. Because it's arte. Arte, arte. And then a nice good amount of extra virgin olive oil. Finish up some nice fresh parsley. Can I go? Go. The good thing of uh, body style pizza is also you can take your time when you make the pizza because the dough is so strong. If you were to make this with Neapolitan pizza, adios amigos. Can I go? No, 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 Anyway, cook the pizza at a lower temperature. Let's clean up here everything and then I can't wait to show you how the pizza looks like. This pizza is perfect if you have a home oven because it's really low on the hydration and it's really low, you can cook the pizza at a really low temperature to make it nice and crunchy. So it's not soft here. Okay, the pizza is about to be ready. Guys, what we're gonna look here is the crust that needs to be black because in body, if the crust is not black, they send it back. That means that they wanna get the flavor from the burnt crust. Okay, you think it's ready? Perfect, Long okay. Perfect. Bye, 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 bye. Nice and bubbling. Can you close the oven, please, Father? Voila. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, the body style pizza is lovely. Ooh, it's nice and ready. Listen to this. Shh. Did you hear that? The crunch. And this pizza is actually really good when you eat it cold. You need just one cup. Fuck! The pizza is cut. Fantastic. I mean, that's what body style pizza is. Perfection cook, holds it really well, tight, almost like New York style. Let's taste this pizza. Mamma mia. Ooh. You hear that? It's like crackers. Wow. I love the crust. Mm. Ooh. Potato, really good. Blend, good job, father. You did a good job. Good job. Bravo. Thank what do you guys you. think? He did a good job? Comment below. It's a little <laughs> quiet because it's no English. <laughs> good <Guys>. job. <laughs> Comment below if you want to see more. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much.